Hi, this is Doug Blake. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about what really is the most important aspect of all the different aspects of installing floors, picking the right floors, obviously, looking at the substrate, etc. But no matter what system that you're installing, you need to have the right surface preparation on any surface and really importantly on concrete um, as well as steel and other things. And concrete surface profiles, there's, there's numbers associated with them, CSP numbers. You'll find these on data sheets from manufacturers saying that this must be installed with a recommended surface profile, a CSP number of a CSP three, four, or five. Now these things are how open you make the concrete. We have these stamps that the International Concrete Repair Institute makes and they have all the different surf surface profiles on them. It's critically important, especially if it's a warranty type situation on a moisture mitigation system, let's say, and it comes with a big extended warranty and it tells you that you need to hit a CSP three, four, or five, you cannot do that with a diamond grinder. Diamond grinders are great. We use them all the time. They have many, many uses and they're fine for prepping concrete if you're putting thinner mill systems down. But if you're putting a thicker floor down or again, a moisture mitigation primer that has a specific requirement of a CSP 345, you need to use a blast track machine that's shooting steel shot on the floor and opening up the top of that concrete. And other reasons for blast track machines, if you have a pitted surface and maybe a previously coated painted floor and all of the coating is down in all the pits, a diamond grinder is just gonna ride over the top and knock it down into the pits or the grooves in the concrete. Whereas shop blast machines are gonna shoot steel shot down and then they get vacuumed out, giving you a much cleaner profile. There's also obviously more heavy duty prep equipment like scarifiers and concrete shavers, but sometimes you need those and then come back with a shop blast machine. But it really goes without saying that the most critical piece, you can have the best floor system in the world. If the prep isn't done right, then you're definitely risking heading for failure. I saw a quote earlier this week, actually on LinkedIn, and I'm gonna steal it. And it said that failure to prepare is preparing to fail. And I just thought that was a great line. So make sure whatever systems that you're having installed in your facilities, and if you're out there as a contractor installing floors, read the literature, know what those CSP numbers are, and make sure that you have a means to check it before you put the floor in and run into a warranty situation. So I look forward to any comments you may have, and I look forward to the next post. Thanks.